That's right, Judy. Joliet police telling us that those three suspects that are in custody are from Chicago. Now, they are being held here while the search continues for one more person, although investigators do say they believe that he may have already left the area and that he may be armed. It was a surreal scene that greeted residents of one Joliet neighborhood this morning when sometime after 5 a.m. the reverse 911 call went out. It was a request to shelter in place while large numbers of police officers canvassed the area, guns drawn, in search of who they believe to be several suspects involved in a string of burglaries and auto thefts in the western and northern suburbs. This is a very fluid situation. This is a dangerous situation uh, because we are still trying to to determine uh, if these suspects are indeed armed. The lockdown led to the cancellation of classes at two area schools, St. Raymond and Joliet Catholic Academy. We went to mass this morning over here at St. Raymond. Uh, the the priest, priest announced that there was a an alert. According to investigators, the men were in two stolen Chrysler 300s, including one taken out of Lockport. They fled on foot after police used stop sticks to disable the vehicles. By 10 a.m., three suspects had been apprehended, including a 16-year-old. I seen them arrest him and, you know, peacefully he was just asking if I could call his mom for him. ABC 7 cameras captured two of the arrests, one from the air, another one on the ground, at least one of them taking place with the help of an eagle-eyed Joliet resident. He was asking people for rides and they were just pulling off. I called him over. I said, hey man, what's up? And he goes, hey man, I got $50. I'll give you 50 right now if you can give me a ride to Chicago. I went around the corner and notified Will County. I said, there's a suspect over on Reed Street. Now, the shelter in place was lifted just before 1030 this morning after police determined that that remaining suspect was no longer in the neighborhood. They also tell us that the three men they have in custody were not armed at the time of their arrest, but they are asking residents in the area to be on the lookout for any discarded weapons or any other evidence that may have been left behind. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.